Hi guys, it's me again and we're here for another tutorial video in using AutoCAD. And today, we will talk about circles. So without further ado, let's start! One of the most used tools and commands in AutoCAD that will be circles. You can find circle command in our ribbon in the draw tab. Or you can just type in C or circle in our command bar. Just type in C, hit enter, and then you will be asked to locate a center point. Or you can have options like 3P for 3 points circle, 2P for 2 points circle, and TTR for tangent tangent radius. Later on, we will talk about these options and how to use them. Alright, so let's start with our first type or method of creating circles. The center radius. As we all know, we have two types of circles when we talk about their measurements. We have the radius, which is the distance between any point on the circle and the center of the circle. It is equal to half the length of the diameter. While on the other hand, the diameter is the largest distance between any two points on a circle. By this definition, the diameter of the circle will always pass through the center of the circle. Going back to center radius, we use this option if the given drawing has its radial dimensions. Let's take an example here. We have this circle and its radius is equal to 20. Now all we have to do is to go to the draw tab, circle, and then select center radius. And then CAD will ask for a center point. Now it depends to the drawing. All you need to do is to click a center point. And then type in the radius. In this example, we have 20 as our radius. And then hit enter. Now let's see for example, what if the given dimension is a diameter? Question is, can we use the center radius option? Yes, of course. But you have to divide the diameter into two giving you the radius dimension. Let's say we have a circle here with a given diameter equal to 50. Now half of 50, that will be 25. So you will use center radius, click a center point, and then type in 25 as our radial dimension, and then enter. Same as with our next method, which is the center diameter. Again, the diameter is the largest distance between any two points on a circle, and the diameter of the circle will always pass through the center of the circle. Say for example, we have here a circle with a diameter of 100. All we have to do is to go in the circle tab, select center diameter, click a center point. Again, the center point always depends to your drawings. And then type in the diameter. We have 100 and then enter. Now the next two options in using our circle command will be the two points and the three points circles. In these options, we use points in our circumference. Now let's say for example, 
we have here a square with sides equal to 100 millimeter. If we will use the two points circle option to draw a circle inscribed in this square, all we're gonna do is go to circle, select two point, and then select the first end point of the circle's diameter. In this case, we have the midpoint of the bottom of this square. And then select the opposite midpoint on the opposite side of our square. Same thing as with the three point circle option. We create circles using three points on the circumference. Click the first point, followed by the second point, and then the third point. Lastly, we have the tangent options. In geometry, the tangent line or simply tangent to a plane curve at a given point is the straight line that just touches the curve at that point. Same as with our circles here. The circle tangent is the circle touches other objects such as lines or another circles. We get two options here. The TTR, which stands for tangent tangent radius, wherein we create circles with specified radius, tangent to two objects. And we also have the tan tan tan, or tangent tangent tangent, wherein we create circles tangent to three objects, whether it's a line or other circles. Let's take an example here. Say for example, we want to draw a circle tangent to two sides or lines using the TTR or tangent tangent radius. First, click on the point of the object for the first tangent and then click on the point of the second tangent and then specify the radius of the circle. Let's say for example, the radius is equal to 40 millimeters and then you hit enter. Same thing goes if we have circles as examples. Here, I have two circles, circle 1 and circle 2, with a distance of 100 with each other. Now let's say we want to draw a circle tangent to these two circles here. All we're gonna do is select tangent, tangent, radius, and then click the point on the object of the first tangent then the point on the second tangent, and then specify the radius of the circle. Let's say 40 millimeters, and then enter. And that sums up the methods or options we got for creating circles in AutoCAD. With consistent practice and exercises using these methods, eventually you will be familiarized with creating or using circle commands in your drawings. And that's it! I hope you guys learned and enjoyed our video for today. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, you can share it with your friends, and subscribe! Don't forget to hit that notification bell icon so that you will be notified once we uploaded new videos for you guys. Thank you for watching. Ciao!